Greetings, suns and moons, and of course, I have to welcome back all my stars. If you're new to the channel, you know what to do. I've already done my meditation, called in the appropriate guidance, protection, and coverage needed for us. I just ask that you be. This may or may not resonate with you. This could resonate with someone in your environment, someone thinking of you, you're thinking of them, an ex, a boss, a co-worker, a child, a Passover loved one, a grandparent, anyone, okay? Uh, even a boss, okay? This could be your employees um, and things of that sort. However, I'm being called to do uh, blockages in love reading. So it's, this is interesting. Um, this is an interesting reading here. All right, some of you have new love approaching or someone is at being um, admired by you. Some of you, you are in a new love situation that you need to trust and don't try to manipulate it. Okay, I'm also hearing gaslighting. Somebody may be getting gaslit by a new love. For some of you, this is someone um, that re-entered your life. Possibly during this Mercury retrograde, there's a lesson to be learned for somebody here, okay? This is a general spread. This is one of the spreads that I do offer as a personal reading, okay? If you need to contact me, look in the description box below, okay? So, yeah, engagement and new love. So, somebody is thinking about coming towards you, all right? They've been watching you, admiring you here, so we have love yourself first, separation, and giving your relationship a chance. So this is somebody that is leaving. Um, I'm hearing a toxic connection. This may have been someone that has been with for years. They could possibly be a marriage. All right. Um, and children involved. Either show me what it is I need to see. Getting to know each other and wedding. Okay. So I'm hearing that line from... What is that outcast? I sh I jumped the broom, okay, and with um, Pimp C, I believe it is, okay. So I want to know what from your past that could possibly be blocking you from moving forward. Are my readings are protected and covered? All right. Anyone trying to offer my reading to you or through a different location? It's not me. Okay, you have to contact me and I have to contact you for um, clarification if you want a personal reading. Okay, so with the children being here, someone, I get the energy of someone being childish. However, I do feel like there is a close bond uh, with someone's children, whether right they're male or female. What is blocking you? All right, so in the past... Some of you, you know, you did keep an open mind about a certain situation, okay? Some of you may have known that this person was involved with someone in a contractual relationship, all right? However, this individual was, was courting a lot of different people. They're admired by many, okay? I do get the emperor energy. This is a husband, a father, a business owner, okay? So I feel like this person has some codependency for some of you. They didn't want to let go of a situation because they felt comfortable. The divine doesn't like when we get comfortable. People don't like when you get comfortable. It takes the fun out of a relationship, okay? Lately, lately, I've been watching a lot of prank videos with couples, okay? Some of you need to get back into that energy of being hopeful and um, being hopeful and, and grateful for love, okay? Because you're attracting someone that is hopeful for you. This person is watching, contemplating. I'm hearing secretly falling in love. All right, some of you, again, I'm hearing a boss. Somebody could be sleeping with their boss. Okay, I'm sleeping to get to the top. Okay, so this is somebody that is offered a lot of different people, um, or they have access to a lot of different people, so they don't quite know who is real and who is not. So in the past, you were open about this person. However, they looked at you as a prospect. Um, for some of you, this is a past life situation because I'm hearing past life um, reincarnation. So this is a lesson for some of you 
Um, it's either a lesson from the past that you didn't learn in the past life, or this is a past life soulmate, okay? Somebody that's very passionate about you. When you're around this person, you get butterflies, okay? I don't know. That might not be a good thing. Where are you at currently for those this may resonate with? Where are you at? You can show me what it is I need to see. True love, okay? So some of you are wanting a, a true connection. I do hear sapiosexual, someone that's very intellectual, someone that speaks their mind, okay? For others of you that you are in this situation with somebody from the past, this person is giving up all kind of red flags, but you're not paying attention, okay? I do feel like there's a family member that watches this person, they may um, try to tell you what's going on about this situation or they try to tell you in the past here. Yeah. With the codependency, I feel like this person leans on you or you lean on them. And for some of you, they have a person that's leaning on them. This is somebody that's very emotionally manipulative. Okay. I'm hearing that they're sexually aroused by this person or they were in the past here. Okay, so this is somebody that likes to flirt a lot. They use sex as a weapon to keep this person, to keep this person interested. Um, for some of you, this may be somebody that you're married to. This could be happening at work. And I'm getting, this is all already something that you feel inside. Someone goes to the office or goes to this place of business and this person just looks at you they give you the evil eye they're 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 jealous okay so this is somebody that does not mind um your person being married okay they don't they don't they look at it as a challenge this is also someone that's younger um with that sleeping to get to the top energy okay what's blocking this connection from moving forward ether show me Okay, so we have un unrequited love, that codependency and someone just moving out of their lower chakras, moving out of their lower, lower selves. This is somebody that's very easily tempted, okay? What's blocking this connection from moving forward or from coming in? You can show me what it is I need to see. Ooh, that was a lie. So some of you have trust issues, okay? This person may have trust issues because of things that happened in the past. For some of you, they haven't gotten over um, their first or yeah, their first love situation. It kind of like a, um, built a blockage for this individual, okay? It makes it kind of hard for them to trust people or for you to trust people. So what's blocking you from moving forward is your mind, Okay, you're not optimistic about love. So universal life force source, God, your higher self, whatever it is you are believe uh, you believe in is saying it's safe for you to love. All right. Somebody needs to learn how to um I'm hearing separate their emotions. Separate their emotions from you know a, from a logical standpoint. They this person is very emotional. They're very um, erratic, okay? They blame a lot. They blame others for situations. It's kind of like they don't really learn their lesson. I do feel like some of you are in the, in the process of healing or this person is in the process of healing, okay? They could also be going through some sort of separation, Um I do feel like this person may have kept going back into a situation because they felt comfortable here. Yeah, worth waiting for. Interesting. Potential outcome, possible influence, people, places, or things for this collective this may resonate with. You can show me what it is I need to see. Okay, so yeah, this is saying that this person needs to either physically release their ex or release that energy of ex um old heartbreak okay this person needs to learn how to communicate their truth or you do i do feel like somebody wants to communicate a truth for you for those of you that are healed this person is watching you they want to talk to you i'm here even stalking you okay they see that you are building your finances you're working on your career okay and it's making you very attractive so they do feel that there's competition here. 
You can show me what it is I need to see. Yeah, honeymoon and codependency. Somebody did recently get married or they're planning some sort of a honeymoon. I would be mindful of this situation. Somebody is codependent. Okay, because I'm hearing I can't eat, I can't sleep without this person. So this is somebody that has to be in a relationship. For some of you, this is what this person has um, is trying to overcome. Okay, they're learning how to be self-sufficient. Even if this person is a business owner or appears to have it all together, they're very codependent in their connections. And this is why they have um, issues with love and trust. Okay, so they, they want people that are clingy. They want people to cater to their every need. And I'm getting that you are not a person that does that. For some of you, you could be a divine feminine or a divine uh, masculine. Okay, but this could be the one for giving and learning and give your relationship a chance, uh, a chance. Okay, I do feel like for for those of you that have this new love coming in, they're, you're going to be partaking in um, activities that make you feel child childlike. Okay, like a childish, a childish energy. Okay, you you give this person butterflies again. All right, but they need to know how to communicate with express your love at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, they have romantic feelings. Okay, you do make this person nervous um, for some reason. Keep an open mind. Why is keep an open mind here? Keep an open mind. You can show me. All right, so we have the fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You don't have to be, but this is passion, okay? And we have child and creative spark. This is this is interesting. I do feel like for some of you, this person made a choice here. They made a choice to leave a toxic situation. For some of you, this choice was to upgrade, and this is in the reverse, and I'm I thought I'd turn all of these around, but that's a sign, okay? So we have the Ten of Earth. This is definitely speaking about a marriage that I heard ordained by Lucifer. Some of you may have um, seen that reading. If not, I'll try to put it in one of the tabs if this resonates with you. But this is definitely um, somebody that left a situation they felt was toxic, okay? They may be popular in the community. I do feel like... Whoever they are with or sleeping with, they're very fearful. This person could also be having dreams of of getting left, okay? Um, they're very codependent. They're used to a certain lifestyle, okay? Um, I do feel like someone is trying to, like, plot a pregnancy or this happened in the past. Why is true love here? Ethan, show me what it is I need to see. Some of you are learning how to love yourself, so you are calling in that perfect person for you. We have the eight, the infinity. This is a cycle, right? For some of you, you were in a karmic cycle, not learning the lesson. I'm hearing making head over heart decisions with true love. Again, I do feel like this person felt um, people that were clingy. Or people that need needed them were the individuals that they needed to give their time to. And, and thus doing so, they attracted a lot of karmic soulmates. For some of you, this happened in a past life as well. With the two of cycles being here, this person juggles uh, karmic energy. Or they're off balance by karmic energy. Okay, So I do feel like for those of you that are healed, there's a new beginning here. This person feels foolish um, for sacrificing this love, this marriage for some of you, for those of you that are married to this person, okay? With the four of desires, they, they hold a special place in your heart or vice versa, all right? This is somebody that also, um, for, for not all, for some, they do moon manifestations or they practice the law of attraction. With Lilith here in power in reverse, this is definitely speaking about this person, um, you being this person equal and, and them taking you for granted. They went towards someone that they feel that they can control here, okay? They're, they're, they're scared. They're fearful of what you are going to say, all right, with the criticism or what the community is going to say. 
they're very confused because they sleep with a lot of different people, okay? They feel like they sacrificed the wrong person. Yeah, with Mother Mary. And I'm also hearing Mary Magdalena. Okay, so this person could be religious. You could be spiritual. Um, there's some sort of difference here. But with the power card, Lilith being in reverse, that is an indication of a spiritual partnership. Somebody could have been a first wife. Okay. Um, yeah. What is to stay optimistic about your love life? Why is this here? Okay, because the sun card is coming in. So you're being told to stay optimistic about your, your love life. Do not block off love for those of you that are healed, because that's a part of your divine mission here, this lifetime. Why is it it's safe for you to love? Why is it safe for you to love here? Three of words. They want to work on a situation. This person feels like there is a dark cloud um, over their head. Okay. This person... They're being haunted by the things of the past. They could also spend a lot of time um, near water, or they may have recently been doing a lot of purging, crying. Okay, yeah, okay, safe for you to love. I do get that this person denied you in the past, or they denied this relationship. They went for something that looked good, that looked shiny on the outside. However, it was dead, okay? There was no growth here. This person didn't learn anything in this situation. And for some of you, this is what is happening with your ex here. Or your soon-to-be ex here with child consciousness. This is somebody that was um, childish in a sense. They may also have had a child on you. They could be denying this child. Yeah, Someone is denying the fact that you don't want to be with them no more. Yeah, nine, nine of criticism came out in reverse. Hmm. All right, so yeah, this person wants to recover this relationship again. They're very fearful of what you are going to say. Possibly they may have ran your name in the dirt, okay? Someone is uh, denying the fact that they... Uh, they have a job. Like somebody's lying about their employment here. Why is deny, denial here? Expression. Some more aids. Okay. Some of you are definitely dealing with the Scorpio here. Most definitely. Okay. Um, somebody holds back their true feelings. They have something hidden deep in their subconscious here. Somebody is also hiding the fact that they may have gotten a divorce with the crone um, transmutation. On the side note, somebody is denying the fact that they may have practiced witchery, witchcraft, sorcery to get a job for some of you or, yeah, or to get um, a person. With the nine of community being in reverse, this person was was either exiled from a community or they may have gotten fired from a job. They may be hiding the fact that they got fired. Um, some of you know, somebody's hiding the fact that they no longer work here with separation. Why is separation here for what's holding this person back? They're also denying the fact that this relationship could work or may have worked if they put in the work. Okay, yeah, we're high priestess here. Yeah, again, somebody knows that someone has, is separated here. Like, maybe you're getting intuitive signs, dreams. This is somebody that denied you in the past or denied their feelings for you. They definitely are getting some sort of answers through dreams with the Ace of Manifestation here. Okay, so yeah, this person could be hiding from their uh, counterpart that they are in love. Like, they may deny you. Um, this person may argue with this person. In fact, some of you, this person, their person feels like you were the cause of their breakup. Why is express your love here? Either show me what it is. Mother of creativity. So this person wants you to reach out with this mother of creativity. This is definitely giving me uh, 
I heard Queen of Wands, but uh, Queen of Swords here. So they want you to reach out to them. Yeah, they're setting out intentions, um, you know, possibly thinking about you heavily. Some of you, you have telepathic communication with this person. You may, you know, daydream about this person or they're calling you in because they're constantly thinking about you. With the five of conflict, they do feel like there is competition here. Some of you may have had an argument with this person or, again, they're afraid of arguing with you. Okay, so this is somebody that focuses on the negative. With the mother of perception, they may also have a child's mother or their mother that speaks ill against you. Tell me more about the mother of creativity. Mm. Yeah, with the empress being here. This is a mother or a child's mother that throws negative energy into your partnership. Okay, or somebody's worried about their child's mother or their mother. Yeah, with the with the, with the self destruction, like getting in their business here. For some of you, this this mother is a high priestess and they do work. Okay, for some of you, this mother could be a, a Scorpio. We have all signs here, but um, I pay attention to the major arcana. So we have the moon, which is. Uh, Cancer Pisces, Leo, um, damn, I just said Sagittarius, so somebody's dealing with the Sagittarius, um, we have Aquarius, and we have the Death card, okay, so this is death and destruction, so somebody keeps actively doing work to keep this love um, from manifesting, this is like mental manipulation here. OK, that they also play innocent for some of you. This is this person's mother or their child mother that's doing it. All right. Let's see. Death card. There's a death card here. Coffee cup. Meeting and conversing. What is this? Savoring the moment, feeling uplifted in friendship, okay? So for some of you, um, it's a friend, okay? It could be a mother figure or someone they view as very wise and caring. This could also be someone that they think um, has admiration for them. For some of you, it is a mother or a child's mother. This is somebody that... Um, feels like they're going to be there no matter what because I, I hear that okay so for some of you it is a child's mother um, that keeps causing or trying to cause some delays or distractions okay they're watching they're lurking they're stalking and they're going to gaslight the energy okay so they're trying to put her lies slander okay so it makes this person hard to express their feelings. For some of you, they don't feel like they were nurtured as a child. So they go to toxic women or men. Why is mother creativity here? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, this is somebody that gets in someone's mental space. They're very wicked. Okay, they lie. You need to be aware of this person, this mother, okay? Somebody else, somebody could have, somebody's mother or child's mother could have lied about a situation to break them or you up. Three of words. And they are, do practice witchcraft, I'm just saying. Yeah, not enough. So this person may feel, um, you know, may, may be telling their counterpart for those of you that are still married are separated they're telling their counterpart that you know trying to make them feel like they're not enough they're doing um, picture magic here they're full of shiznit okay this person may practice scrying or again picture magic okay they they play their cards very well okay they also look at your pictures. They're very envious of you. Okay. Yeah. And they do this in secret. This person could also be um, 
doing witchcraft again to keep someone separate or to keep someone in a toxic loop here. What is this denial about? Okay, so we have, yeah, so we have a male for some of you. Um, okay, so for some of you, this person is in a separation or they're questioning their partner about them sleeping with a friend, a co-worker, a family member, okay? For some of you, this is a male, a business owner, um, a husband, a father that is very passionate about you, okay? This person is holding this back with the high priestess being here. They want a separation, but they don't know how to go about it. Look at that. Frigid and cold and proposal. So this person may have been very active, um, very charming in their situation. It's just not working, okay? Some of them are realizing that they had um, magic being done on them to keep them stuck and to keep them stagnant. So with the separation being here, somebody is currently going through a separation. They're not paying any attention to the person that they are with, okay? They feel like this person is a narcissist. They're only there for money. Okay, somebody needs to pay attention to what what is being said. I'm hearing online, and this came out again. What a catch. An ideal partner or mate, abundance, self-esteem, value. The answer is yes, marriage and material. So they're, they want to run from this toxic, narcissistic person that possibly gaslighted them into a marriage and what I'm hearing is if you love me you would do this if you love me you would do that it was kind of a manipulation this is a past life soulmate someone um, that they had unfinished business with someone that is actively trying to keep them in a toxic connection why is fire here yeah okay so this person you know they they're getting their self-esteem back here. They're gaining momentum with the shy card being here.